Hello, I'm Giles Darling and I write novels, plays and non-fiction books. In this video I talk about book cover design, particularly if you intend to publish paperback books or e-books on websites like Amazon. The advice in this video is based on my own experience and I use the covers my own books as examples. Here's what a book cover looks like when you're designing it on your computer. This is for a paperback book. The front cover is to the right, the spine is in the middle, and the back cover is to the left. Ebooks have just the front cover, although the text on the back cover will still, usually, be included somewhere on the web page advertising the book. So let's start by discussing what to include on the front cover. The most important element is, of course, the book's title. You need to select a size, a colour and a font so that the title is still easy to read when the front cover is displayed as a small rectangle on a computer screen or the screen of your tablet or phone. This will often be how your book first appears to potential readers and purchasers. You might consider including a shadow or a border behind or around the book's title, although I've noticed in recent times that fewer book covers do this. Another significant element is the image on your book's cover. This needs to draw in customers, even when displayed at a reduced size on a computer or phone screen. If you're unsure about what the image should be, look at the covers of existing books that are from the same genre, are about the same or a similar topic, or that target the same audience as your book. You can get inspiration by looking online at book retail websites like Amazon and at book review websites too. You can also peruse the bookshelves at your local library and at local bookshops to get ideas. The image can be based on real life, a graphic or a drawing or a combination of these. If you don't feel comfortable creating the image yourself, do you have any friends or relatives who are good at drawing or illustration who could help you? Alternatively, there are many websites that let you find skilled people online from all over the world to help you with this task. Some of the images on my own book covers are photographs, some are computer-generated bitmap images and others are vector graphics that I've created myself. While I'm mostly pleased with them, there is still room for improvement, maybe. What do you think? please feel free to add your suggestions to this video's comments below. It's important to avoid getting distracted by the creation of the cover's image. Don't let it delay you too much. Here is the initial cover of one of my novels. It was meant to show the final conflict scene, with the hero standing up to an evil monster. However, it took so long to create that the initial proofreading copy of the book, which was created to a schedule, showed just the background of the image without any of the characters added. Eventually, I decided on a completely different cover image instead. That's another thing to remember. If a cover image just doesn't work for you, try something else instead. You don't have to stick with a single idea. It's important to get it right. Don't forget to include your name or your pen name on the book's cover. If you're an unknown author, it can also be useful to include some text on the front cover that describes what the book is, for example, a play, a novel or a TV script. Because my novels start out as screenplays for television, films or movies, I tend to include the words a novel based on his screenplay and then follow this with a secondary title. This has two advantages. It confirms what the book is and the secondary title can also help to tempt the potential reader or purchaser to look inside the book. When selecting the background colour of your book's cover, try to pick colours that contrast with the text and the image. However, the colour you choose on your computer screen may not match the colour of the paperback when it's printed in real life. Therefore, to help me pick just the right colours or colour combinations, I sometimes include a block of different potential colours when printing the preliminary proofread books. Here are some examples. This grid of coloured squares enables me to confirm which colour to use on the final version of the book's cover. 
both for how it appears on my computer screen and for how it appears when printed in real life. You might also consider including some online reviews on your front cover. This is up to you. Personally, I prefer to keep one-line reviews to the back cover because, in my opinion, the front cover serves to grab the attention of potential customers and putting reviews on the front cover could interfere with this. Thank you for watching this video. Do you have any suggestions of what else to include on the front cover of a book? Please add them to this video's comments. If your ideas are particularly good, I might even use them myself. To see me talk about the spine and back cover of a book, please watch my follow-up video. Please also check out the rest of my YouTube channel, especially where I discuss the various books that I've written. I hope my channel encourages you to buy my books and to read them if you haven't already done so. Finally, please feel free to like and subscribe this video and my YouTube channel. See you in part two.